What's up, what's up guys? It has been super, super long since I've sat down, talked to the camera and it made an actual vlog. Uh, I think it's been over maybe three-ish weeks and I say I weekly vlog but I haven't made a weekly So there's some things that I made and we made the plebiscite video with my friend Alice, which did really well and it raised a lot of awareness through the communities that I'm involved with and my friends on social media and everyone else who's connected um, just to raise awareness to get yourself enrolled and then to vote yes in the upcoming plebiscite. There's a few key dates you need to look out for. I'll put them here. It's not over yet. We still need to vote yes. So thank you Alice for doing that video with me and I had so much fun sorting out Skittles. There was another video that we had made. Um, we drew each other which was pretty hilarious. Hey! Hey! Hey, I think that's pretty good. I look like Beetlejuice. <laughs> and I have a beard for some reason. No, that's supposed to be like shading for um, uh -huh. like skin tone. Like He shade. gave me a beard. <laughs> no, 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 I damn it. I was like, damn it looks like such a beard. And we talked about. Let's not say. As a married gay, I am qualified to tell you everything. Are you gay? I know. No, I'm kept it such like such a secret. Like you can barely even tell. I couldn't even tell. Yeah. No, that if majority does vote yes, still they can still turn around and say no. So. Yeah. So right now, if the government wanted to, they could have a conscience vote where every single person in the parliament gets to stand up and say on their conscience, I do. I say yes. I say no. Okay. Like you could just do that tomorrow. There's nothing stopping them, except for this ridiculous, we made a promise at the election, which, God, finally that, you know, made some effect to cuts to the ABC, SBS, yeah. education, health, superannuation, not just taking all the money from the poor and giving it to the rich. Yeah. But apparently it only matters when it's my rights that affect really no one else. Anyway. But if enough people on the club site votes yes, they will have a conscience vote. Okay. Which they could do for free tomorrow. Yeah, so... So that could happen without the website. Yeah, and so. they're not going to be bound to what their electorate says. A lot of comments um, on Carol's answer saying, I'm not going to vote because this doesn't affect me, or I don't care because it doesn't affect me. And that's the whole thing. Yeah. It affects maybe 10% of the population. At worst, straight people might be invited to Tom and Gary's wedding. <laughs> <gasps> Tom and Gary. Not them. What? Yeah, like yep. that's, that's literally the worst case scenario. <laughs> She's married with her wife and they got married in New Zealand. They couldn't get it done in Australia, obviously. Uh, so my mum flew over with us and we had my friend Kermit, uh, who lives in New Zealand, come. We went to uh, the beach where they filmed Xena. Oh. Because if you're going to be a stereotype, you may as well go all the way with that Yeah, stereotype. absolutely. So they're married, but it's still not really recognised here in Australia. It is recognised to a point, but not to this point where it is 
the same as what marriage is and you don't get the same rights still, which really is sucky. Um, that was probably my last video I did. That was probably about two weeks ago. I've, oh, it's a cat. Hi, cat. So that, a lot of that has been happening. I hung out with Eric a few weeks ago as well, which was really awesome, and we created an amazing vlog. He made a vlog of that, so go check that out. For the rest of this year, I'm committing to making a video every single day. This is EDP in 3. What's up, what's up guys? So today I'm here in Geelong and we're meeting with a friend that we've met before. His name is Eric. So we're hanging out with Eric today. We're doing a little photo shoot for, I think it's a photo shoot. Actually, He's told me a little bit about it, so all I know about it is a photo shoot. I'm not allowed to park here? I what, what are you doing? I'm parking here, I'm filming a video with a friend who just lives on 100 okay, That's all I want to know. There's just been a lot of break ins around. Oh, has there? That's the only reason. No problem. No uh, okay, that was weird. So I just. Don't look like a thug? Don't look like a thug? I don't know if you heard the audio, but yeah, anyway, that lady. Hey, I get the concern. Um, people breaking into a house and people, a lot of break-ins happening in the area, but I'm not one to break into someone's house Unless they have food. No, I'm not I'm not one to break into anyone's house. But anyway um, Yeah, that kind of caught me off guard a little bit, but I hope she's having a great day um, Yeah, so we're hanging out with Eric today, and we're doing some video photo shoot thing and yeah, let's go He made a vlog of that, so go check that out. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, I know. I've been kind of riding this roller coaster right now. I'm on this low part, and it's slowly coming up because there is good things that's happening in my life, and try to stay positive. And I'm always trying to be as positive as I can. But yeah, I guess it's it is the good, the bad, and the ugly. The, all those things come into life, and you have to roll with the punches and go with it and and just kind of ride it out so uh, yeah I started, I started this whole video thing of YouTube and and this venture to get out into more videography stuff and into that world about a year ago today uh, it was actually on my birthday that's my whole year milestone for this YouTube channel as well and when I started actually doing things because I was like I'm getting older Ooh, getting older 23 um, but I want to start doing something and, and try exploring new things as well. Uh, something I was really super excited about, it was, it was it was the year of the rooster. So 2017 is the year of the rooster. I was born in 1993, which is also the year of the rooster. I'm thinking like, this is gonna be the best year ever. It's my year. I was born this year. It's year of rooster again. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna start a whole lot of bunch of things and it's gonna be amazing, which it has, absolutely has. But also, apparently 2017 is not a good year for the rooster. Pretty bad financially. Um, the rooster struggles with that. Riding it out uh, throughout the whole year, the good things have been coming my way, but also I am at the lowest point financially in my life. Uh, my bank account is, yeah, completely low. Um, I'm not asking for a handout or anything like that. I'm literally, venting um, venting to the people who actually watch my stuff venting to the world and putting it out there uh, talking to the camera because I feel like if I talk to anyone indirectly or personally I just feel like I'm putting that my burdens on top of their shoulders which I don't need them to worry about me because I feel like that's such a selfish thing to do August has been a huge whirlwind of things and it's kind of August has been my low point for the year so I'm trying to pick it up it's September it's my birthday month it's my birthday in 10 years 10 years it's birthday in 10 days I have to really 
enjoy that. It's spring now, there's some sun that's happening, but it's Melbourne has the most temperamental weather. It's raining, it's not raining, it's summer, it's winter, it's spring, but it doesn't really feel like it. So I'm just gonna try to stay on a positive vibe. I'm working my butt off trying to pull out of this thing. I need to get out of this stupid lull because there's no point staying in here and I'm feeling better after venting and talking to the camera. So thank you so much. I have to thank a few people in my life who've opened those opportunities for me to edit, to film and to be at events and, and to work with other clients and they're, they're involved with as well. So you guys know who you are, so thank you so much. I don't need to name names because it's not a bragging thing. So thank you guys so much for helping me out. Someone who's a uh, aspiring videographer and wants to go somewhere deeper in that field and just kind of experiment as well. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate it a lot. And if you want to stick around and see what happens in the future, please subscribe, like if you like my stuff. If you don't, well, comment down below and tell me that's terrible. <laughs> Thanks for kicking back with me, guys. Catch you guys next time on the kickback. Bye.